Recently, I saw an interesting um, job interview problem. Sometimes I run into them on YouTube. People make videos about them. This one was kind of interesting because I thought, well, let's try it with Racket. Okay, go to the desktop. Start Emacs. Now, if you want to maximize Emacs, you hit F11. Let's split the screen. Control X3. And let's load Racket with F5. That loads the system. And we want to increase the font a little bit. Uh, okay, that's good. Maybe big enough. Now the problem was like so. You have a string. Let's let's say our string is tenant, and we want to find find the first repeated character. Okay. Now there's a way to go wrong here. Let's scan through this string T, N, and you say, Oh, N. Look, I I found it. It it's repeated. That was the first one that you've seen to repeat but it's actually not the first character that is repeated the first one that's repeated is T so be careful be careful the first that you see repeat is not necessarily the first one that is repeated I suspect some people have done this problem wrong because of that. Now, we are going to sp split our string into a list. String to list, uh, this is a function that comes with racket, tenant, and you see it explodes the string into a bunch of list, uh, characters. Hang on as I turn on Peredit and some other tools. Great. Okay, I think that we're ready to solve this. We just need to look at something. How can we find? Uh, how can we find if an item exists in a list? And the classic way to do this is to use member. Okay. Now member works like this. Member A A B C. It will give me the sublist that contains A as the um, head. So if it's C I'm looking for, I get that sublist. If it's B I'm looking for, I get that sublist. And I can use this as if it's a truth value, uh, believe it or not. You can do that in, in Racket. If it's true, I get this. If zero, if, if false, I get that. Okay, it works. Now let's put something that doesn't exist in that list. Yeah, great. Works. All right, let's see if I can just write this code. Cold. Define first repeated uh, my string. My string. Okay. So, um, first of all, we're going to do let loop. Okay, and my list will be the exploded version of my string, like this string to list my string. Okay, and I'm going to recurse through this thing. Watch. So, cond, if I hit the end, null my list, then I know that I didn't get anything repeated, so I'll return nil. Uh, the null list, I'll return empty because nothing in that that string repeated. Now, if member um, car of is a member of the rest of the list, so if, for example, this T is a member of the rest of the list, then I return that T, I have found it. Car my list is a member of the rest of the list that's quite interesting logic then I'm going to return what I found car my list I found I found my repeated character 
And if not, well, I continue the recursion uh, loop, and I'm going to loop down by one and continue this logic. Okay, great. Does this work? That's the question. Let's try it. First repeated character of tenant. There we go. It's T. It's not N. Now let's change that to an X. Now it's N. Now let's change that to an M. Now we have no repeated characters. Nil. There we go. We did it. And uh, our solution is pretty simple. Okay, if you like this video, click like, subscribe for more job interview stuff. I'll get around to doing other ones that I find that are interesting.